Hi, it's Alina from Eximate Master here. Today I want to show you a way to change the pricing. Let's say that you had just a nail, just your nails were uh, raised in price, or if you're doing drywall, just your gypsum board was raised in price. How do you handle that? Because changing the whole line item like I did last week will affect all the components, all the pieces, all the material, or all the labor, depending on what you're wanting to change. Uh, what if you just want to change the labor rate? How do you do that? What's the best practice? Should you just do the line item price change like we did? Let's discuss that in this week's Tuesday Tech Tip. I also want to mention that the doors to the Eximate Mastery University are open. So if you've ever been interested in getting into one of my online courses, this is the one to get into. It's going to be an interactive course with online training. We've got some live coaching. It's going to be amazing. So just shameless sales plug. If you want to take a look into it, you can. I'll put the link down below for the university order form, the info page you can go take a look at. So anyhow, let's go ahead and get to that Tuesday tech tip today, changing your component pricing in ExactMe. So here we are, we're in an estimate, we're in the estimate item screen, as you can see, and I've got some roof items here. It's not a full estimate, but it's enough to take a look at. And then I've got some drywall that we're going to look at here in just a second as an example. So as you can see on my screen, I've got multiple different items that would use roofing nails. So the nails are the easiest to talk about because they span a lot of the different line items here that require nails, right? So the nails that are for RFG 240 or 25 year shingle are um, going to be different than the ridge here in Xactimate. So here's what's interesting about that. Just want to show you that Changing a price in Xactimate won't cover all of the nails. So let me let me just show you where I'm going with this. So if we go to the replace price here of the shingles and go to the little I, we're going to look at the details down below. And here we've got one and a quarter inch roofing nails that they're going to be paying you for. And they'll detail out the price per, per unit and all that fun stuff. If we go down to the ridge cap and look at the replace price, they're going to use an inch and a uh, half. So different different price per unit, as you can see here. Also, if you go to the felt, what do they give us to install those? Ah, the simplex cap nails. Interesting. So where I'm going with this is if you are going to be changing prices like we did last week, and you can go view that in my YouTube channel, it should be on the list of videos, but we changed the actual price here across all market conditions. Um, we also did a bid item and talked about that. Um, but what if just one piece of the puzzle, just the, the nails uh, across the board are changing in price? Is it best to put it in market conditions or is it best to change it somewhere else? So I wanted to just kind of reiterate that they've got different nails in different areas. So you'd have to go in and change each price, which is interesting of the, for the line items. Or do we want to go in and just change one type of nail? Uh, I just want to draw your eye that there's a different types of nails being given to different areas. However, this asphalt starter line item, they're giving you the same type of nails as they give you on the shingles. So to drive that point home, I would have to change both prices, you know, minimally uh, on each line item and it can get kind of messy and hard to kind of communicate that to the adjuster. Instead, what you should do, in my opinion, is go over to the component screen. So this applies when you just have one piece of the, the line item rising in price. We wanna go over to the components tab and there you can see the nails. And where's our simplex? There we go. Uh, it won't tell you which line items there it's adhering to, I don't believe. Let me double click here. Um, let's see. Yes, it does. I'm wrong on that. It actually does give you that it's going to be used on the drip edge and the cor gable cornice return for the 25 year shingle. So that's interesting. You can just double click there and see where what line items it, that it adheres to. That's pretty cool. Um, and therefore, you can see you can change the price here with the unit price, and it tells you how many pounds of nails you're going to be using and um, what the total would be per their unit price. So if you go and you're saying, man, it cost me 150 bucks to get my uh, roofing nails, then you're going to go ahead and figure out the unit price because that's what you're, what you're going to change here and to change it accordingly. Maybe it's 260 um, or maybe 275. 
uh, for the unit price. So that's where you're going to affect that change. And then that change, oops, I collapsed that. Uh, this change is going to affect these four line items. So that's, as you can see here, those four line items gives you the quantity for each. So you're super informed about your costs. So you can show the adjuster, hey, Mr. Adjuster, this is what I did. It's nothing crazy and out of line. I didn't want to change the line item pricing for four line items. I wanted to do it here where it should be done in the components section. So same thing with drywall. If I highlight my drywall here, uh, be careful what you're highlighting on your your uh, grouping tree here. If you want all to be selected, select all. If you just want your 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 uh, drywall area or your dwelling uh, selected, that you can just highlight just that area too. So just to let you know you have control over what you're changing. Uh, anyhow, going back to the gypsum board here, I could change that. I could change corner bead. I could change any of these things that have risen in price without having to go in to each line item that might have that component. So if I had several rooms worth of drywall, I could highlight all the rooms, change it here, and uh, we'd be good to go. Same with your labor. If your labor is risen, we saw labor go from, oh my goodness, in, in Dallas that one year, the replacement labor like doubled. It was an amazing amount uh, per hour that they were charging and, and it was with good reason because there were so many roofs that were damaged in the 2017, I think it was like March or April, you can correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, the Dallas area got hit hard and they actually made the prices, prices in Oklahoma rise because everybody was driving down to Dallas because there was so much work to be done and they were getting paid a lot more. So therefore there was scarcity in Oklahoma and then their prices rose as well. So you can also change the labor rates here per estimate if needed. Otherwise, you might need to make a priceless change, which is something we'll be talking about next week. So look forward to that. That wraps it up for the components and just want to drive that home. You can always double click and find out what line item it's adhering to, something I actually totally forgot about. So hope you guys learned something from this video today. If you like this topic, please like the video below. Also subscribe for more topics like this. Every Tuesday, I release a new video. For more information on what I do, I train contractors how to use Xactimate. I actually have the doors open to my Xactimate Mastery University program right now. They will be closing on Thursday. So if you're at all interested, please click the link below to take a look at that info page and see what you think. You can also email me at alina at xm8mastery.com if you have any questions. If you're a GAF Elite member, uh, Master Elite, you do get a big discount. So if you want to inquire about the discount, shoot me an email as well. I look forward to uh, taking any questions. We're also going to be going live tomorrow in a webinar talking about the class and talking about um, how to write an estimate using what I call the supplement system. So if you're interested in that as well, I'll put that link in the description below too. So anyways, hope to see you guys there, maybe on the webinar or in the university. I also hope that you guys have a really safe week in your business and I will see you next week.